Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this session uh, about Southpedia.wiki, a new tool to listen to Wikipedia using uh, QR codes. First of all, a uh, uh, quick presentation about myself. So my name, I'm, uh, my name is Yemen. Uh, I'm from Tunisia. Uh, I am the co-founder of Wikimedia Tunisia and the Wiki World Heritage User Group, and the co-founder of the Wiki Conference Wiki Arabia. So today we are going to talk about QRpedia and we'll see the new solution. So um, as you may know, QRpedia was a project uh, for a mobile uh, web-based system that used QR codes to deliver uh, Wikipedia articles to users uh, in their preferred language. QRpedia was conceived by uh, Roger Bumpkin, uh, a Wikipedia volunteer from UK, coded by Terence Sweden and invaded in April 2011. So basically, QRpedia server uses Wikipedia API to determine whether there is a version of the specified Wikipedia article in the language used by the device. So we scan a QR code and based on the language of the device, the QRpedia system will, uh, wrote, uh, the, the, will open the Wikipedia page in that, uh, in that language. So this was very useful and it has been used in museums, in England institutions, historical cities, like we can see here, the project uh, in Tunisia, in the Medina, at the old city of Tunis, uh, used also in symmetries. So uh, it's, uh, it was a very useful tool and still uh, uh, a very useful tool. Nevertheless, in some occasion, listening to the article can be better than reading, especially for someone moving around. So for example, if you are in historical city or museum, um, instead of reading the Wikipedia article, maybe it's better to listen to it. So, uh, from this came the idea of Southpedia.wiki. So, what is Southpedia? So, Southpedia is a generated QR code for Wikipedia article. It will be related to a monument, museum collection, anything that has a Wikipedia page. That once scanned by a mobile device, allows the user to listen to the Wikipedia page, if available, in the mobile phone language. So, uh, be, uh, in more details, the tool is deployed on toolforge.org and allow the generation of QR code related to Wikipedia article that once scanned will fetch the Wikidata item for that article and then open, if available, the audio file from comments for the Wikipedia article using the Wikidata property P989 uh, spoken text audio. If there is no pre-recorded audio on comments, Southpedia will generate an audio from the lead uh, of uh, the, main, the main entrance of the Wikipedia article using the GTSS text-to-speech system. Uh, the project was a joint development project between Wikimedia Tunisia, Wiki World Heritage, and uh, Data Engineering and Semantic Research from University of Sfax. And myself and uh, my friend Hossein uh, worked on this uh, project for this uh, beta version. So let's try it. So for example, we have this very famous um, mosaic in the National Bartol Museum in Tunisia, uh, depicting the, the poet Virgil. So this uh, mosaic has uh, Wikipedia articles in French, in English, and on Wikidata, we were able to, uh, to uh, link a pre-recorded uh, audio file that has been, up have been uploaded on comments, one in French and one in English using the property spoken text audio 989 on Wikidata. Using Southpedia, we can generate one QR code. So as you, you can see it on the right hand side of the slide. Uh, this QR code, if you scan it, if your phone is in English, then you listen to the Wikipedia article in English. If your phone is in French, then it will listen to the Wikipedia in French. If there is an article in Arabic and uh, your phone uses Arabic language, then you will speak, you will listen to the Wikipedia article in Arabic, whether you will listen to a pre-recorded file that has been uploaded on comments or uh, uh, text generated, uh, uh, text to speech generated automatically by the system. So you can, uh, if you have, uh, currently it's working fine on more Android uh, mobiles, so with some issues on the mobile phones. If you have some Android, you can check this, you can scan this code and then you will listen to the article. I will give you seconds to, if you try to scan the, the QR code. Okay. 
So this tool can be very useful, for example, to, uh, to use uh, your phone as, um, as an audio device uh, in a museum in a circle city to scan the QR codes uh, for monuments, for uh, mosaics or uh, paintings or uh, statues and listening to the, their related Wikipedia articles. Uh, the, the goal of this tool, of course, to provide a better experience to the user who is going to scan the QR code, but also it can be also motivation to, to, uh, to generate more Wikipedia articles, to generate more uh, pre-recorded audio, audio, audio files on comments, so it will motivate the community to work and to produce more content. So it has double goal. One for the community to produce more content, Wikipedia, audio, audio, audio files, and a better experience to the user who's going to scan these QR codes and to listen to the Wikipedia article. Uh, what, is, what is next, for example, we can also improve uh, the tool to be based on uh, augmented reality. So one of the limitations of, uh, I mean, the Southpedia, it's based on QR codes. So it requires that there is a, a, a generated QR code that we need to place in front of the monument or in the museum. But using the augmented reality, it's possible, it's possible that the system detect the monument or detect the, uh, the, 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 the piece <clears throat> exposed in the museum and then trigger automatically the, 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 the audio file related to the Wikipedia article. So this is, can be a next step to improve the tool. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have questions, I would be happy to, to answer them. So again, just to uh, the this tool is inspired from Queerpedia and has the advantage to to be multilingual. So using one one queer code, it's possible to have to listen to different language to different article in different languages. It can be in English, in French, in Chinese, in Spanish. So of course, this is what requires that we need to create a Wikipedia article, and this is a motivation for the community to to work and document the document the, the monuments and the museums. So uh, there is a question. Uh, it's work wonderful in English. However, there is a problem with the, the other languages. So for the other languages, I think the problem when there is no audio file on comments. To, uh, to, to, uh, I mean, for a better experience, it's, it's good to, I mean, uh, to pre-record the Wikipedia articles and to upload it in comments. Uploading, uh, recording a Wikipedia article and upload to comments can be used by Southpedia, but can be also used by, by other people who cannot read correctly the Wikipedia article so they can listen to it. So also it's a motivation to, to provide more audio content on comments as well. So the problem can, can happen when there is no pre-recorded audio files and comments. So the, the system will try to generate a text-to-speech audio file. And this can, can of course, it's uh, automatic generation, so we can have some issues. But if you are going to use this tool in a project in a museum or in a World Heritage City, so the community will try to document all the monuments and uh, record the articles and upload them on comments and make these audio files available for everyone. And uh, it can be also a collaboration with the, the blind uh, wiki user group, for example, to, to record these audio files as well. So uh, I would like to thank my friend Hossein for uh, working on this project together. And uh, we'll hope to, uh, to keep working on it, to improve it, and uh, to also uh, integrate the augmented reality feature so we don't need to generate QR codes anymore and the system will be able to detect uh, automatically uh, the monuments or the, uh, the, the exposed collection in the museum. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you for, uh, for all the team behind Wikimania, the COT team, and all the volunteer and the production team for, uh, for this opportunity. And, uh, Bye.